The Kingdom of Bahrain Handicap is next. And a field of about eight or nine, I think, for this. And it's a two mile one furlong nought to 75, so another long distance race. I'm sure we have far too many long distance races in SO7. We don't need this many, I don't think. October Tiger, Graham Clutter, we've got the top. Alta Montsier, Derek Hinson, William Wordsworth, Paul Rose, The Big Half, Obi Wan, Dancing Rose, Satyam, Harlem Raw, Stu Gray, El Marmel, Bard, Alex Cherry, and Louise and Winston for Matt Cooper. They're all installed and ready to go. This has got to be the umpteenth race longer than one and three quarter miles this week. You really don't need this many long distance races. I don't think, but anyway, that's just my opinion. And William Wordsworth and Alta Montsiao are the early leaders. It looks like it's going to be Alta Montsiao that goes on. Winston is back in third. Then comes October Tiger and the Big Hearth. Marmol Bard and Harlem Raw and Louise after that one at the back so they're through the first couple of furlongs and Alta Montsiao is the leader and Winston in second uh, William Wordsworth is third and October Tiger is in fourth with El Marmol Bard and Dancing Rose Harlem Raw in the big half after that one and then Louise I think they I started a few comments in the forum this week that I didn't expect to. I'm talking about the Grand National level and the jump side, but I think it's maybe time for a re evaluation of quite a lot of what's going on. I've had to commentate on pretty much all of the flat racing this season, and so you do get to see a lot more because I'm sure most people just watch the races that have got their own horses in. and. It's quite clear to me that there are certain areas where there are too many races and there are certain areas where there are not enough. And for me, there are far too many long-distance races. And I've got four, five, six runners in this one. It's got a field of eight, nine, which is pretty much acceptable. But they're not the most exciting races to watch. They're not the most exciting races to compensate on either. And there's too many of them. Also, there's a few weeks where we've got far too many two-year-old races and a few weeks where we haven't got enough. It's a difficult thing to get the balance right, and I think it's time to maybe throw the whole schedule away and start again and decide where we want to be with things because we do tend to try and fit too much in, I think, with the trips to foreign shores and things. We need to decide whether we want to be based mostly in Britain and Europe and whatever, all these constantly nipping over to Hong Kong and South Africa and Australia and places is it's nice to see the different courses but it's not really very realistic and sometimes trying to cram too much in it just gets a bit overload really I found myself a quite a lot of times just appearing to commentate on the same race week after week and it does get a little bit much when it's just me so we need somebody else to do it so somebody else come in and step in I did say I was retired at the end of this season but see what happens. Anyway, William Wordsworth has gone into the lead now. Alta Montsiao is in second, and then October Tiger is third. Winston's after that one. And then Dancing Rose, Harlem Raw is next in the big half. El Marmol Bard and Louise is well out of shot, but they're well strung out with two furlongs to go. And you can see it's almost a procession this race at the moment. William Wordsworth is well clear. October Tiger, the top weight is closing, and he's not running as though he's got a lot of weight on his back, is he? It looks like he's going to sweep past William Wordsworth. Oh, William Wordsworth is fighting back. Satyam's dancing rose. He's trying to close as well. And it's going to be a bit of a tight finish in the end. And it's going to be just dancing rose that gets up to take it. The fast finishing big hearth might have stolen second from October Tiger. And William Wordsworth was after that. And Dancing Rose is indeed the winner, as we knew. For oh, Satyam, another good handicap winner for him. He'll be in the top five, I think. Now he must be in the top five on wins, which has got to be done on wins. It's not, we can't be doing it on money for the same reason as I just said earlier. We've got to start chucking in all these races that are worth eight million quid from foreign countries, then you can't do it on money because 
you've got to do it on winds and sat yeah we've got to be right up there in the top bunch now with that big half second for obi one october tiger ground closer book third william wordsworth for paul rose fourth and harlem raw for Stu gray what's fifth